what's good guys, it's yours truly again, Danny Explosion, bringing you guys another, and the probably the final edition of the Dying Fetus Discography review today. We are finally going to review Dying Fetus's Reign Supreme, their most recent release, released back in uh, June, June 19th, 2012. I have some information on a piece of paper so I don't get lost. Um, a little bit of info for this uh, this beast right here is it has the same lineup as in Descent of Depravity, which has John Gallagher on vocals and guitar, Sean Beasley on vocals and bass, and Trey Williams on drums. And this is their seventh studio album, and it's released through Relapse Records. There's about um, nine tracks on this album, and. Uh, don't remember what they clock in at, but who cares? Gonna go track for track right about now. First track we got here, Invert the Idols, the opening two-minute track that that just shows you what's you what you're in store for in this album. It's a really, really great track with just a crushing riff and awesome technicality. A 4.5 out of 5. The second track. Probably another one of the biggest tracks on this album, um, subjected to a beating. This is a modern death metal classic. Technicality, brutality, coming together as one, and the perfect mixture. This is a classic. Five out of five all the way. Second, second Skin, the third track off this album. This is a really insanely heavy track with awesome technical riffs and just crushing riffs and just amazing drum work and bass work. It's, this track is just perfect. Five out of five. The next track, another one of my favorites, From Womb to Waste. This is another death metal gem. Basically just words cannot describe how fucking awesome this, uh, this track is. I mean, just crushing, heavy, and a little bit more simple riffs on this album, but there's still some awesome technicality, so this is track is a sure 5 out of 5. Track 5, Dissidents. Oh, another fast, pummeling, in-your-face track, which is, this track is just relentless. 4.8 out of 5 for his Dissidents. Number 6, to me, Probably one of the greatest death metal songs of all time. In the Trenches. To me, this is the perfect, absolute perfect death metal track. Just, when that breakdown hits two minutes into that song, it will makes me want to destroy everything. Not only that, it's probably the more simple track on this album, and it still has a little bit of technicality, but god damn is that track so good. In the Trenches is an obvious 5 out of 5. Number 7, it's about atrocity, where they add those like really wicked pinch harmonic riffs, and those harmonic riffs start to really shine on this track. This is another really insane track, and I just love the riffs on this track. Another 5 out of 5. Revisionist Past. This is another fantastic track with a lot of intensity and a lot of, well, not really a lot of technicality, but really, really good slams on this track with Revisionist Past. And it's a really, really, really fucking good track. Revisionist Past, 5 out of 5. And the last track. The Blood of Power, an excellent closing track to this fucking masterpiece right here. It, this, that track was just fucking badass. Everything about it was awesome. The Blood of Power, 5 out of 5. So, my final opinion about this album right here. This is a modern death metal classic. After, um, uh, you know, when Dying Feast became a three-piece, they started to um, kind of experiment more with kind of like 
you know, the modern slam kind of technicality. And this, when they released this, they fucking nailed it. Perfectly. They just had this formula of technicality and brutality, and they just knew how to bring it together with John Gallagher's insane guitar work, Sean Beasley's insane bass work, and Troy Williams, in my opinion, one of the greatest death metal drummers of his era. His drumming was just fantastic on this album. And just, just knowing that this was made by a three-piece band was just... just blows my mind even more. And this is why this album will go down as one of my favorite albums of all time. And I give this motherfucking masterpiece a 98 out of 100. Not a 100 out of 100, but... <clears throat> I mean, because... It's so hard for me to get an album to get 100 100, but this album was fucking the shit. 98 of 100, all the way, one of my favorite death metal albums of all time. And that is the end of the Dying Feast discography review. Thank you for all of you who watched that and me being lazy and not doing this series, but series is finally finished, but who knows, I might review um, uh, Grotesque Impalement or History Repeats, who knows, or Infatuation with Malevolence, because that's a really cool album I'd like to review, but anyway, that's all to for today, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe if you want, you guys are the fucking best, and stay metal, cheers.